Okay, here let's talk about the folders panel in Adobe Lightroom. In here, this is the location that represent the hard disk on your computer that your photo have been stored in here and import in Lightroom. For example, in here, this in my driver D, this is the folder that I created and for the synchronize for the photo on the cloud. Yeah, and in here, this is the folder that I have been created from the import dialog box that I select to create a folder based by the day or the photo have been taken and the format of the folder that I select from here when I import my photos. And in here, any of the folder, you can right click and you can select. So in Explorer, in this, this will open up the Window Explorer and highlight the folder that you right click from. And in here, this is the folder that I have in my computer when I import my photos and create a folder in my hard disk in here. And this is the folder and inside here, this is the photos that have been imported into this location. And the folder in here, for example, in here, the format. And the folder can be anywhere on your computer. And for me, I prefer to put that everything, the photo into one catalog inside here. So it's easy to organize the photo and for the catalog. And somehow if I want to back up or move the project, so I just move from here. So I put everything into one location for my photos in here. And in here, you can check it. This is the folder and the format of the folder. If you want to change the name for the folder, for example, so you have to do that inside Lila in here. If you do that outside here, that you, your Lylam will not recognize the change, so they can be a missing folder, missing photos. That's the problem. In here, if you want to do that, do that in Lylam, yes. For example, in here, when you right click, so they have many options that you can do that. So we can take a look one by one how they are. And for the first one, if you want to change the name for your folder, so you can right click and select lead name. In here, I can rename it as the format dash so nine for September dash twenty five like this. So I can rename my folder in Lilum. In here, when I rename it, this will rename the folder in my hard disk in here. So I rename all this so it can be a one kyo format dash so a dash twenty five. This the August twenty five. Like this, and for this one, December twenty eight, rename it. That's one two. That's twenty eight. Like this, so I can rename the folder inside my Lilam, and this can be changed on my folder in my hard disk in here. And in here, for me, usually I put the day on the folder, and also I put some something specific. For the folder, for example, in here, this is the photo that I take it in Montreal Botanic Garden, so I can put it Montreal Botanic Garden, something like this, the meaningful naming, like this, so I can click save, so I can change the name for the folder on the day, and this is the name for the photos, like this, so in here, this have been changed on the hard disk for your folder. And inside here, let me right click and many option. From the first one here, create a folder inside this folder. That means you can create a new folder, put on this folder. For example, in here, this is the photo that I take it and the flower and the fish, for example. So I can create two folder for the flower and for the fish. This is the example. Yeah. In here, I can right click and create a new folder inside this in here. So I can put it live flower one folder created in here. So I create a new folder inside here. So we can see this is the flower folder. In here, let me create another one. In here, for example, fish like this. Great. Yeah. In here, so I can select the folder. The photos and drag and drop this the flower so I can put it in here. So move it, yes. So this will move the photo from this folder to here. 
So you can take a look on here from the photos in here, move it into here. Yeah, same thing for the fish. So let me click on here and drag and drop to the fish in here. So move it, yes. So you can see this will move all the photo from this folder and move it 10 in here, 50 in here, like this. In total, 60. So you can take a look on here. From here, 50 in here, 10 in here. This is the way you can move, organize your photos in the folder panel in here. And if you want, of course, you can move it back. Control A, move it back to the folder in here. And this photo, Control A, move it back to here, like this. So you can move the photo from the flower and from the fish folder back to the folder in here. So we can take a look on here. So we have the photo empty in here, nothing empty in here. So you can move it, create a folder to organize your photo and do it in Lilam here. And for example, in here, this is the empty folder, so you can remove it. So you can right click and remove this folder like this, so you can remove it in here. And right click, so the second option that's the create a collection for this folder. In here, the collection, when we talk about collection, so we can go back to folder and create a collection from here. So we can talk about that a little bit later. In here, if you want, you can mark as a favorability folder. The folder, that means the photos inside here. So you can mark like this, my favorability photos. So they, you can see the white star icon on the folder in here. So you can mark the folder as your favorability photo inside there. This, if you have a lot of folder, a lot of photos, so you can mark it, so you can. This is uh, one way to organize your photos by folder and by the mark variability in here. So if you want, you can unmark this, so like this. And another way, as you can see, this is the photo for the Montreal Opal. And I have a Montreal Opal in here. This is the day in daytime and this in nighttime. And you can mark it. This both for the Montreal Opal photo, so you can use that add color label to the folder. This is another way to classify your photos. Like this, you can mark any color for your folder, like any of this yellow. So I can mark it yellow for this folder. And for this one, this is the same for Montreal Opal, so I can mark it yellow in here. So both for this. These are the photo for Montreal Opal. So this the way you can organize your photos yeah, by color label, something like this in here. And if you want, of course, uh, remove the color label. So select none in here. Yeah, especially when you have a lot of photos in folder panel in here, so you can organize your photo by folder, create your folder inside or create something like this uh, favorability or mark it as the color label for this. This is the way to organize your photos. And in here, you can right click and so you can see this then remove your folder and show the parent folder. Parent folder, that's mean in here this is the folders and in your hard disk in here, this the folder and the parent folder for this is in here. This is the one, just one step up in here. This is the one. My first LR is the parent folder for this. And if you want to see, so you can right click and you can see, click on show parent folder in here. So you can see this the parent folder for all these folders in here. So if you have a lot of folder, in here, for example, you organize by folder in folder. So you can close this one and open another folder. So this is the way you can organize your photos in the folders in here. And for example, in here, this only in here and only one parent. And you can hide this parent, yeah, like this. So you can hide this parent. So in here, yeah, only in here. That's okay, yeah. 
In here, right click so you can have the option to save the metadata. Save the metadata, that means when you have your photo in here and you put some information on your photos in here for the metadata. For example, the copyright information, the creator, the caption, the title, many information that you can put it in here, for example. So you can save this information for, to your photos in here. So you can click on here and save metadata to your photo or the photo inside here. This is the way you can save the metadata in your photos. Yeah, this is the metadata when we talk about this something more on detail. And in here, you can right click and you can select to synchronize the folder. That means, let me take a look on something in here. For example, in here, in this folder, I have two photos only in here. So if somehow I remove one, remove one photo from here, from the nylon, but not from the hard disk in here. So I can remove one in here. So let me open up this in Explorer. So in here, you can see I have two photos inside this folder. And for example, somehow you can manually copy some photo inside this folder. For example, I copy two photos into here. So I have two more photos in here and one photo in here have not been imported into Lylum. I have only one in my Lylum in here, like this in this folder. In this case, you can right click and select synchronize the folder in here. This will check the folder. Lylum check the folder and check all the possible photos and video inside the folder that have not been imported into Lylum so they can check it. And this three photo that you can import there into Lylum into here so you can click synchronize. This will import the three photo from your hard disk from the folder in there. In here, so this the last three photo have been imported. Import it into this folder in here. This is the way you can synchronize the folder in here. And let me delete this from my hard disk in here. And right click on here, we can check it. Update folder location. Update folder location, that means if your folder, for example, you have folder in here, as I have in here, I import all my photos into one location under my catalog project in here. So this will be easy to move it, uh, my catalog, my project, anywhere that I can move it, the whole thing from here. If somehow you import your photo, just add your photo from somewhere, some um, play, or you move your photo, when you import your photo, move into some other location than in here. So you move this catalog, your project, but you have not moved the photo from another location. That can be problem and can be missing folder, missing photo, so you can go back into Lylum and in here, so you can update the folder location. So you can select the location for your folder. Uh, in somewhere else, so you can select the folder so to update the photos from the location here. Yeah. That's why I always recommend that you can um, better to put all the photos into one location into your catalog folder in here. So the photo in here. And go back to here and let's right click on here and take a look. Import into this folder. So you can select any folder in here and you can right click and click on import into this folder. That means this will automatically open up the import dialog box, something like this. And they will select the destination in this location in this folder as the destination in here. So you can select the photos in here and copy or move. Yeah, move in to the location in here. This is the way you can select from here. And in here, right click set as the download location for the Lylum image sync with Creative Cloud. Yeah, if you click on here, that means you open up the Lylum sync in here and select the location, this location yeah, in here as the destination for the Lylum sync image in here. So in here, I click cancel because I select this folder in here. I set for my 
same image, not any of this. Yeah, if you want, of course, you can do that in here, set as the download location for the same image in here. And for this one, export this folder as the catalog, a new catalog. For example, in here, this the photo that I have import, this the sunset. Yeah, this the photo and the video in here. So you can create a new catalog from the folder in here, like this. So I will export these photos as the new catalog. So I can right click on here and select export this folder as the new catalog. So click on here. So I select the location. For example, I put it in my driver D in here and I create a new catalog from this. So I can call it sun set time lapse like this this the new catalog that will be in here and for the option that i select all of this the first one in here select export the negative file that means the photo and the video yeah and in here export the smart preview and the available preview so i select all of this yeah and i can click export in here this will export this folder, all the photo and the video inside here, and export them as a new catalog in here. So let's take a look. On here, I export to my driver D in here, and this one, yeah, the folder, this is the catalog, yeah, this is the photos inside here, auto import photos, yeah, they keep the same folder name, yeah, this is the photos, and this is uh, 86. And still exporting, and some more in here. Let's go back to here, and still exporting. That take a little bit time, some more time to do that. I have in here in total three hundred seventy, both for the photo and the video in here, and still exporting. Let's go back to take a look on here. And now it's 302 item and 368, yeah, 369. In here, it's uh, 370 in total. And 370, yeah, and also they export the preview, yeah, the preview for your photos, yeah, in here. And still exporting. So now finish the exporting. So let's go to here. And this the new catalog have been export in here. This the catalog file and this the preview, the preview, and this the photos inside here. This the photo and the video that have been export and that means I have another catalog in here for for this photos in here so I have another copy one copy in here and I have also the same photos and video in here so and for me I don't want to keep too many copy the same photos so I can delete this photo in here so I can have the one copy in here so I delete this one and I go back to my Lilom in here and I control A and select all these photo and delete this in this catalog so I can press the delete and click on delete from the hard disk in here. So I delete all the photos from my hard disk in here and I keep one copy for the photo in here. This is the new catalog that I have just created. And from here, that's the photo and deleting. Now in here, I can remove this folder like this, remove it. So in here, so let's take a look on right click and you can see so in Explorer and so the property for the folder in here. So the property, so you can see the in general sharing security preview version and this. 
this the uh, information that you can check it for example in here for the folder inside here so you can see the size inside yeah two photos in here and you can see two photo to find in here this the property same thing as you go to the explorer and select the folder and right click and click on property this the same kind of the dialog box the information that you can select from here right click property something like this and from your line in here right click property same kind of information in here so this is some kind of the feature that you can use that for the folder for your photos in your hard disk so you can do the things something like this so you can take a look one by one and take a look how they are in your line in there